coverage of Comic Con 2017 here in San Diego. I'm Julia Cunningham, and joined by Aidy and Eric, who are the voice talent behind Danger and Eggs. Um, guys, it's very exciting to have both of you here. I, um, you know, I have to say, I watched the pilot because it was sort of during pilot season, where Amazon lovingly posts all of the pilots up so you get to rip through them. And then they just like surprise us one day. They were all there. Yeah. You get to binge, so you right. get to have this great time. And I love this show. Thank you. It's so <laughs> sweet and wonderful because there's so many elements that I don't think that we get for like a children's show. We really get these important aspects of a kid's life and a kid who also doesn't necessarily have like parents around, really, right? And has this like wild, wonderful imagination and gets totally. to have this fun. And so you voice um, DD Danger. That's right. And Eric voices Philip the Egg, Phillip the egg. Um, <laughs> which is wonderful. Um, and I want to know had you guys met prior? Did you guys know each other before you got into the booth? No, mm. this is our first day Stop. meeting. We, Isn't yeah, that weird? We were just met a couple hours ago, actually, I know. for the first time. But so. it's so weird because even watching the show, I was like, they're friends. It yeah. feels yeah, so real. It feels like there's such chemistry. I know, but yeah. that just goes to show how good of actors Eric and I are. <laughs> Incredible. Academy Award. But thank like you. The Tell All them the to time. start giving awards for yes. children's yes. shows. For children's shows. Oscars. Yes, I don't um, know why they don't count it as a movie for this being excellent. Thank you. Performers <laughs> and, yeah. So have you guys had to do now, like, um, I don't know, like trust falls and things now that you guys have met? Or is yeah, it and at some point, during this interview, I'm gonna fall down and see who catches we'll we'll kind of just we'll who see. runs to I'm your I'm pretty door. terrible at trust balls, so this might be fun. <laughs> That's so interesting. Yeah. So, did you hear sort of the story? I know you were sort of involved before it began, but yeah. but uh, was it 80? Were you? Were they no. like always in search of you? Were you? The yeah, one I like to think so. Yeah. Thank you for saying you that. You were always the egg, I guess. <laughs> I was. All, yeah, I was always kind of the egg. They um when they I was uh, I'm based out of Minneapolis, and the animation company is based out of there. The puny the it um, were originally based solely out of Minneapolis and they um, they brought myself and some of our friends in and they threw some characters and the egg was one that they were like why don't you try that so ever since kind of like the first round yeah I was attached to the egg. So. You were always attached so then did you yeah. also add in how you thought Phil because it's this great idea of like obviously Dee Dee Danger who lives dangerously and always wants to have fun and Philip the egg the most sensitive and always like looking after her and trying to stop her from any sort of form of danger. Right. Um, you know, hilariously, because he's an egg and could crack at any time. Uh, but you know, did you have sort of ideas of what you thought he would have personality-wise, or the person, the personality of Phillips? Kind of, it's there's a there's a it's kind of hazy just because we went into a booth to improvise and really it's it just kind of like they said he's anxious, but I'm fairly high strung and anxious myself so it turned, like, into, it. it turned it turned into kind of a heightened version of myself and I was just kind of doing it so where Philip stops and I started or you know vice versa it, it is definitely a fuzzy line a so, fuzzy line and yeah. how about with Dee Dee no I'm a Philip at heart You're like, Philip I'm at like heart. a terrified egg um, which is why it's really fun to play someone like yeah. Dee Dee who's totally like uninhibited totally adventurous and up for anything and kind of and also is like the driving force behind the adventure whereas I'm like I would love to quietly sit at home right. <laughs> forever yeah, like, and just hang out yeah well, I love that there's just like sort of these adult themes that go along with the show yeah. and I'm sure people have also been asking about I mean it was wonderful to see in the final episode that they go to this love parade which is basically a pride parade yeah and you, it uh, is yeah, a pride, pride parade yeah. and you know you yeah. meet these other kids that have two dads and you meet these kids that have two moms and you know and everything else or like ex sort of like talking about their own sort of where yeah. they will be when they grow up and I was like oh my god this is phenomenal that this is not only just being supported for a kids show but also specifically at Amazon who I think are really opening doors for that yeah. and making it less of like a marginalized view of mm -hmm. children's TV um, did you guys ever hear about like getting notes back on that where they just like do it it's your show like your vibe they were well from from what I understand Amazon and Amazon was always like do it and I mean, whatever. the the inclusiveness of the show is like largely the thrust there. It's Shaddy Petoskey, yeah, the co-creator, and um, and Mike Owens, the other co-creator. I mean, they they basically, I know that they're they're I, I forget quite how they said it, but I think what they said was they wanted it to be the idealized world. They wanted to just present the world as they wish it was, and Amazon every step of the way was just like yeah yeah yeah. There weren't really there weren't really notes about what sort of inclusiveness was happening. Yeah, and the thing that I like about it is, like, as much as they are, like, there are messages in the show, they're all things that come 
in a very like delicate way and it never feels heavy handed and it's like messages that are helpful I think even for like adults to hear like right. there's stuff about like identity and how yeah, that absolutely. takes time and stuff like that and I mean those are things I need to hear as a 30 <laughs> year old woman so it would have been really nice to hear that kind of thing as a kid too right. and so I think that's like one great element of the show that I'm excited for people to oh, yeah. see. And how do you pronounce her name? Is it Sha Shetty? Shetty. 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 Yeah. She yeah. seems like phenomenal. I've been reading all these and like watching these interviews with her. And she she made this thing where she said, you know, like even with um, Philip's mom, she was like, is it like just a chicken or is it like a depressed mom who literally doesn't want to get up? And so your kid goes and explores itself, you know? And yeah. I was like, wow. I, you know, I never thought about that in that sort of arc of, of something that you don't see on TV, even sometimes in real sitcoms or dramas. Sure. You know, like the way kids are raised or whatever. So I know. sort of these fascinating things. Yeah, I know Shetty really wanted to present things like as they are. They didn't, you know, they kind of wanted to steer away from metaphorical versions of this or that and just be like, nope, this is this is how this is. You know, Dee Dee's mom like is is not there because she died. Right. And yeah. that's, that's kind of clear in like a you know a shot of the of it. And and, and her father's severely injured. Yeah, yeah. but at the same time, time it's like a very trauma. Trauma. Light, silly yeah. fun. Yeah, I mean show. it's a very it's funny. Yeah, I want to make sure it's funny funny very funny. It's it very is. funny, but it's it almost reminds me, and maybe it's because of just the Amazon connection where there's this a um, little bit of like transparent in it where it is like very funny but also very serious and sort of like a family dysfunction between you two as this character of an egg and Dee Dee, which I love. Yeah, it's definitely a yin-yang relationship. And yeah, I mean, what I, what I like so much about it is that everything we're talking about, the inclusive nature and stuff, is like it's there, it's present in every frame. However, it is like the joke count is high, you yeah, know. Yeah. It's even even for a kids show, like it's just nonstop, and the jokes are, I I think, funny. You funny, know? and there's like certain cutaways too sometimes, totally. where like you know where you're. There's like old school great. reaction yes. shots and yes. stuff. That, those are things that like, you know, before I really knew what the whole arc of the season would be or what the major like themes would be, I just was like, this is a really funny script, and I want to do this. And you're like, I'm all in. Now, yeah. have you guys seen anyone here at Comic Con that's like cosplayed? Your characters or anything like that has that no. happened yet? I, I heard I saw on Twitter someone said there was going to be like maybe a Philip, and I was like, I don't <gasps> see that Philip. But I mean, we're doing the panel tomorrow. The so panel is still on the right. way, so there so could we'll be see. some appearances. I know I haven't been over there yet, so I'm. You have no idea. Yet. No, and you've never Comic -Con. been to Comic Con. No, this is your so first I'm time. sort of melting down. I guess I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere we go, I keep looking out the window and being like, "There's a man in a speedo, and know, it's all it's blue." I know it's kind of crazy. I love it. I, I do know. I mean, is there talk yet of season two? Because we sort of had a little bit of a cliffhanger. We learned that that Philip has a brother. Mm. You know, right. some yeah. yeah so other was... things that we need to explore, obviously. Yeah. Um, is it too early to say? I mean, we sort of did just get. It literally the show. just came so out, it's so like I don't too know. early to say. Probably, it's a little soon. yeah. Nothing on my end. I don't know if you're hearing anything. You know what? what? I'm gonna info. I'm gonna call some execs after. This I think and so. See what yeah. I can do, so. Absolutely. If you guys have not watched, you should definitely look into it. Streaming right now on Amazon Prime. I believe you can still watch the pilot so without too. watching through Amazon yet. If you just want to yeah. check it out, get the vibe. Two day free shipping. What are you doing? You're a monster. Just get Amazon <laughs> Prime and watch and it. Prime now. It, pr really Prime weird. now. We could have something delivered right now if we wanted. Um, Danger and Egg is the show. Um, guys, it's been lovely to meet both of yeah, you. Have an you. amazing time at your panel. And uh, stay here. Continued coverage of Comic-Con 2017 happening around the clock. You can also go to EW.com for more information.